man, I swear. So, while I sit here, wait for my <laughs> video to upload, the one that's uploading right before this one, mind fucking myself about why I do what I do and what drives me in life. And then it dawned on me, and which what I'm about to say opens a whole nother can of worms that I got to do some homework on. So <laughs> it occurs to me my my broken comes from several different um, directions. And this new <laughs> discovery of mine this morning, I'm laughing because I just, I, you can't make this shit up. So it occurs to me I had no dad, right? No father figure in my life. What I had was a name that mom gave me at 12 years old when I discovered the guy who I thought was my dad was my brother's dad, it wasn't my dad. And uh, he went to San Quentin and <clears throat> mom said, he's not your dad because he wanted me to go live with him when he got out of prison and after him and mom split up and mom's like, uh-uh, he's not your pops. You can't stay with him. I was like, okay. So your dad is Tom Oliver, which was not correct. So anyway, that was the influence I had from mom. And then when you look at the influence I had from women in my life from the foster care system, the foster mom that used to beat me, not the foster dad, the foster mom that used to beat me, right? And then you think about my relationship with wifey and the fact that I got her remains in a crown royal bag, right, on the mantle. And every relationship I've been in with the woman has ended poorly, to say the least. And uh, I never had no problem with no dudes, right? I never had no father issues because there wasn't a father to have an issue with. I didn't have no big brother issues because I was the big brother. I was the father, right? No papa. And the women that were in my life were <whistles> troubled, right? And what the fuck does that do to little Johnny? You're looking at it, right? I'm the end result of, of that kind of life. On top of this fucked up personality, INFJ, Sigma, HSP bullshit. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I'll tell you what, though. I've learned a lot. There's no doubt about it. I've learned a great deal about myself. Mm. And it's crazy to me to think just how much nonsense will fuck with you when you're an adult. You think all that shit's behind you? You think, you know, the past stays in the past? I'm here to tell you it don't. It will creep into your dome and you got to deal with it. That memory lane shit is a very, very real fucking place. I don't give a fuck how tough you are or what you say about um, your feelers. Fuck your feelers, right? You're in control of your emotions, your feelings. No, you're not in control of. You're in charge of, not in control of. Your emotions are in control of you. You're in charge of how you handle them, right? Your emotions are what drive you, good and bad. You know, your emotions are when you're happy, right? Do you stop yourself when you're happy? 
I have <laughs> you've never sabotaged a good time in your life I have things shape you in life and when you realize that and then when you find out what it is that shaped you and how that affects your life right fucking now and if in that information is something that makes your life better then it's worth putting in the work right the fact that i had no old man and that i had the hard times with women you know that kind of damage you know i'm sure somebody will be fucking chirping in my ear down in the comment section right or blowing up a gadget or the gadget itself will feed me shit, right? It does it all the time. There's some, there's some gals that I follow in the uh, INFJ and the CPTSD communities. These fucking initials kill me, right? Um, and it's funny. I drop a video and it won't be long and the gadget will spit up a recommendation and it's a video from somebody and it could be a day old or a year old, but it'll be pertinent to what it is I'm talking about right now. That's why I'm comfortable being single, right? And yeah, I've gotten quite good at being lonely. No doubt about it. And once again, that's a feeling. And I'm in charge of how I handle it. But those emotions, there's no control over what you feel like that. It's how I handle what I feel. You're going to feel what you feel. The world is going to dish you whatever the fuck it's going to dish you. Or you're going to create your own drama, right? Either way, those feelings are very real. You cannot control those feelings. You can handle your response. You can control how you behave towards those feelings. But you can't stop them. You can't fucking stop them. Crazy. My crazy life. Go figure, right? I don't know. More homework. But I'm getting better at it. I'm getting better at not being as angry because I understand when I get that, get that bubbling, that, that feeling coming up in me and that, that heat, that fucking red face heat comes on you. You, you know, when you're about to go fucking incredible Hulk, right? You can feel it. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde's about to flip the script, right? You know, when you're on one. And then as soon as I feel that, I'm like, Oh, oh, <laughs> what did Sonny used to say? Oh, Kario Reiki Kekyo. She used to do some chant, some uh, Buddhist chant. Sonny did the Buddha thing. She was, um, She was so holidays, you know. All right, well, I'm gonna get off the gadget once again. Feelings. I can control how I react to them. I can't control how just saying. the wife's name sometimes just what are you gonna do right that's real like I said I'm in charge of what I say and do after the feeling but I can't stop that feeling from coming neither can you you want to front you want to you want to think you can stop it you're living in denial homie and this ain't Egypt because it will creep up on you later.
and that's what I'm going through now. See, as a kid, I denied all my foster homes. I denied all that shit. Through my 20s and my 30s, I was living in Egypt, Tommy, right on the Nile of denial. <laughs> Not anymore. I can't. It fuck. You know, I'm too fucked up. And now I get it, right, where all that anger comes from. And the sadness and the tears and the emotions, right? And how I haven't been dealing with it properly, right? That's broken. That's why I'm saying now that I understand all this shit, then it helps me to react properly so I don't get in trouble. Not to react properly for your definition or for the definition of society, but for my dogs and for my happiness and my sanity. Not for yours, not for the world's, but for me and the dogs, right? I have to change my behavior for them, not for you. I deserve better, so do they. And so do you in your life. That's what I'm saying with all this nonsense, right? People wanna judge me, you don't know me. Go ahead, I don't fucking care. I just block you, you know? I'm a good dude that had a hard life that wants to do a good deed. And you still wanna fuck with me, really? The universe still fucks with me. Right, when I'm trying to set up a charity to feed dogs and broken humans, right? And yet I still get fucked with. Amazing to me. Amazing. Anyway, I'm gonna get off the gadget. Just had to, uh, you know me, on one. You guys have a beautiful day. Much love and respect for me and the girls. Love the ones that love you back. Do your best with the rest. Do not let the kids hear my crazy shit. Like, subscribe, and share. Leave a comment down below. You know, you want to have a chit chat, go right ahead. We'll talk soon. Peace.